The final thing I'll say is this, and I, I want to align myself with Director Borden's really insightful comments um, about the effect on Market Street. My personal view is the best thing we can do for pedestrians in this city is get people out of their cars. And the best way for us to do that as an agency is to provide safe, reliable, efficient transit. And my personal view as to one of the best ways to do that is to close Market Street to private vehicles and make that an above ground subway serving the entire downtown corridor. That will get people out of their cars. That will make Market Street, which is the highest of the collision corridor, is safe. And it will make the outlying areas safe because fewer people are driving. If this creates a choke point that cuts off Market Street and that whole plan right in the middle, it shoots everything in the foot. And the, the benefits of this project, I will tell you, while they'll be great, I'm hopeful, will be nowhere near the benefits of a, of a congestion-free Market Street that our transit vehicles can take. So I would really strongly urge that as we implement this, we move our resources, we move our PCOs, we do what we can to make sure that even if that choke point gets like the one we talked about down by the bridge and the traffic is north of Market Street, that Market Street stays open, particularly there, because Director Borden made a really important point. A choke point at first is bad. A choke point at sixth is deadly because there's still so many commuters on those vehicles. Okay, thank you.